What's going on, everybody? Doug Lane here, Fast Lane Car Care. Like the title says, what happens to cheap window tint after only a couple of years? Well, I'll show you. So I'm sitting here in this uh, 20, well, it's technically it's a 2015. I bought it in the beginning of 2016. It's a Honda Fit. Um, it is the very last car I ever uh, paid someone else to tint because with the hassles of trying to get this car tinted, and then when I got my Forerunner, I tried to get it tinted, and it, you know, nobody wanted to do it. I couldn't get anybody's scheduled appointment or answer their phone, and so then I learned how to do it myself. Um, but let me let me show you guys what's going on here. Let me uh, flip you around. So if you look at the the sky, it, the camera doesn't really do it justice, but you should be able to see it's got a purple tint to it. So there's like a bluish purplish tint. Uh, to the film and that's pretty common of a dyed uh, window film it you know color fades um, you know there's all kinds of um, UV stable dyes which which basically is just dyes that won't you know films that won't change color they won't fade they won't change um, but the thing is a lot of people uh, you know in the interest of making the most profit buy the cheapest products they can and that's you know not good for the customer because you know, like i said this is only a four-year-old car and this window tent's already starting to turn purple so you know within a year or two it's gonna be like purple purple more than likely um i've always uh stuck with a lifetime warranty uh, window film so every you know, I tried a couple of them in the beginning just to see what I liked and, you know, all that good stuff. Uh, all of them were color stable, so guaranteed for life not to fade. And that's why I stand behind my warranty of, you know, if it fades, bring it back. I'll fix it because my window film should never do this. Now, obviously, 10, 15 years from now, something like that that's kind of surpassing the limits of what it's intended to do. But three, four years, this should not happen. And what I find kind of funny is that I've had numerous people over the years say, you know, say that my price was too high, uh, stuff like that. When I actually paid $50 more than my full car price to get this car done. And it has a lower quality product on it. So really, if you look at it like in a sense of value, you're getting a lot more value for your money when you hire me because you won't end up with purple window windows. So that's what happens to uh, purple, purple window tent or that's what happens to window film, cheap window films typically. When they start to break down, they will change colors. Uh, sometimes some, are, some will break down more dramatically than others, but... That's something you got to look out for. So whenever you're shopping around for prices, which seems to be what everybody shops around for, and another question that people commonly ask is, what film do you use? Look, there's a million different window tent companies, right? And I hate to tell you this, but they're mostly getting their factor, their films from the same factories and then just sticking them in a different box and charging you know, more or less based on their marketing budgets and things like that. What you really should be asking when you're shopping around for window tent prices is, do you have a lifetime warranty and how do you take care of that process? Because some people will say, yeah, I've got a lifetime warranty. And then when you call them to do something and ask them to fix something, they just block your number. <laughs> so I've heard that several times from more than one person. So, you know. When you're shopping around for prices, don't just fixate on the prices. Make sure you know what you're getting. Make sure you're getting a quality product and that they stand behind that product so that if something like this were to happen, you are taken care of in the long run. So that's all I got for right now, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.